Hello, my little creative sparks. Today, we're going to be talking about a couple of ways that you can break an Instagram follower plateau. So that's if your follower count is staying stagnant for a period of time and you want to start having growth again. So if you love hearing about topics like how to sell your art online, I think you're really, really going to like live your art life. There's a link in the description of this video. And if you stick around to the end, I've got a super free, awesome gift for you. So make sure you stick around. Let's jump in. We've all been there at some point. You see that new follower notification on Instagram, only to see that you've lost a follower too. Hello, new friend, but bye-bye, old friend. Fresh faces are very peachy, don't get me wrong, but seeing that number stay stagnant can definitely be a bit of a head scratcher and a hair puller outer. <laughs> Here's the thing. Stagnation is actually part of the process. If your follower count has flatlined, then you might just be nestled tightly into your little Instagram cocoon, waiting for something to crack your shell so that you can evolve. So while stagnation can be super frustrating, it can also be kind of fun. Think about it as a challenge. Your old ways have served you well. I mean, look, they got you to this part, point. But now it's time to shake it up and make some new waves in that Instagram pool. So here are five things that you can try that are going to be sure to break that frustrating plateau and kickstart your Instagram follower growth once more. The first thing that you can try is to try something new. So our old ways aren't quite serving us anymore. Womp womp. <laughs> so take a moment to mourn those good old days, but then wipe away those tears and get ready for the next phase in your Instagram adventure. New can be kind of scary, but it can also be fun and exciting for you and your followers. They might have gotten so used to seeing the same thing from you over and over. Maybe it's photos you've snapped of your hand hovering over the canvas, brush in hand. Or maybe you pair up each post with just a simple low-key description of what you've painted. So, this is your license to play. To experiment. To try something new. Shake up the style of photos that pop into your feed. Instead of just posting the polished finished image, why not snap a shot of your painting on the easel, maybe halfway through the process? Maybe share something a little deeper than just the title and the dimensions. People want to know what's going on in that magical artist head of yours. Maybe try your hand at time-lapse videos of your art, work in progress shots, collages, photos of you holding the art, you name it. Get creative and explore. And then, and this is the important part, and then you listen. See how your audience responds. Do you see a spike in comments or likes? Awesome. Stick with it if they like what you're dishing out. And hey, if you're flat out of ideas, you can always take a peek into the Explore feed to see the style of posts that are super popular right now. Use those as inspiration to kickstart your post experiments. So the next thing to try is to stop trying to get new followers. Seems a bit contradictory, no? Okay, but here's what I'm getting at. Rather than constantly hungering for new followers, turn your attention towards building and fortifying the relationships with your current followers. And this does so many wonderful things. Those folks that already have you on your, their follow list are already there listening to you. You have their attention already. So thank them by delivering those beautiful, juicy things that they want to know about. Have conversations with them. Thank them for following you. Open your heart and share that magic within you. Your ideas, your messages, your thoughts. They're all rich with benefits for your followers. And here's the neat little thing. When you shift your efforts away from trying to attract new people and towards your current fans instead... They'll love it, and you're going to start to see way higher engagement. Likes, comments, direct messages, shares, all that good stuff. And 
that spike in engagement is actually going to get the algorithm's attention too. And you know what happens then? The algorithm is actually going to deliver your content to more people, to current followers and new people. And then when those new shiny faces see your account is just a wealth of positivity, affection, and interactions, they're going to be racing to tap that follow button. Really, it's a win-win-win situation. Your current followers are going to love the attention, and new followers will have stumbled upon something new and exciting, and you're going to reap all the rewards from those interactions. Plus, there's this little thing called social proof. Happy fans tend to share enthusiastically about the things that they love. And if your art and account is something that falls under that umbrella, then you can bet your hat that they're going to be spreading your name far and wide. All right, moving on to the next one. Refresh your hashtag game. So hashtags are fickle things. The inner workings that control them can leave you totally floundering for answers. Sometimes the right hashtags can bring in a flood of new followers, and other times those exact same hashtags can invite nothing but a chorus of lonely crickets. Their effectiveness fluctuates like crazy. And according to the lovely folks behind Instagram and Facebook, using the same hashtags over and over again can actually cause them to become less effective. You're going to start to see your reach crash, and alongside it, likes, followers, and engagement. It's going to (laughs) suck. Besides, you are a dynamic human and artist that evolves over time. So really, using the same hashtags from a few years ago just isn't as effective as something that actually suits your current style. So to kickstart that Instagram growth again, I want you to take a good hard look at the hashtags that you've been using and dig back into a solid hashtag research session. Give your list of hashtags a refresh and then you're going to start to see new followers flooding in before you know it. All right, moving along. So the next one that you can try is to be awesome off Instagram. Like, have you ever noticed that big time celebs tend to have some of the crappier feeds out there? Like grainy selfies, blurry snaps, and usually just like the worst lighting. (laughs) But yet their follower counts still rivals the population of some countries. And the reason? They totally kick butt off Instagram. They've shared their talents and magic with the world in another way, and then they've pointed those fans to follow them on the app. You can totally do the same thing. You can be totally rad off the app and then point people to follow and connect with you on Instagram. Share a couple of your top performing posts on your website and invite them to follow you so that they can catch more juicy behind the scenes content. Maybe you have a killer audience on another platform like Facebook or YouTube. Ask them to follow you on Instagram as well. Be clear about the kind of things that you share on Instagram and how it's different from the rest of the platforms you're on. Maybe you share daily sketches or tell stories through your art. Get them super pumped to see a deeper side of you and your artwork and they're sure to follow you there. All right, so this is our final thing that you can do to kickstart your Instagram growth again. And it is going to be to take a deep dive into your stats. Now, there are oodles of details that go into putting together a great post on Instagram. From capturing that perfect visual mood to finer minutia like using certain non-pushy power words in your call to action. And those variables and their effectiveness all vary depending on your own unique audience. So you might already have had the stars align and stumble upon the perfect combo of image, caption, and promise for your unique audience, but how on earth are you ever going to know? Easy. You let the stats speak. Numbers don't lie. (laughs) If you have a business or creator account on Instagram, and if you don't, you should, you're going to have access to data insights. And these are hugely helpful. Sure, you can flick through your posts and see how many likes or comments they got, but that data is only a tiny slice of the number pie. 
you might be missing out on seeing which post got the most engagement or which post single-handedly brought in the most likes, website clicks, or shares. This info is so valuable if you have any thoughts about working smarter instead of harder or working less instead of more. So open up insights on your account and scroll through your options. I recommend seeing which posts brought in the most engagement over the past month, three months, and year. Do you notice any trends? Maybe it's the post style. Maybe it's the caption. Are your highest performing posts the ones with great stories that resonate with your audience? Maybe it's your hashtag game. Some are drawing in all of the views. So I want you to dig deep in those numbers and let them whisper their secrets of what your audience likes best. And then, and this is important, do more of that. Clearly, something about those top posts attracted your audience, so reward them with more of what they like. And hey, you're going to benefit in the meantime. Well, there you go. When your Instagram follower growth plateaus harder than the prairies, give it a solid boost once more by using one of these five methods. But before you run away, I want to tell you about something super awesome that might just be the secret weapon for growing your art biz that you have been waiting for. I want to tell you about my brand new, totally free training, Your First Artist Growth Plan. This free training is filled with all sorts of goodness. It is your A to Z path to creating your first artist biz plan that is going to propel you to success and allows you to unlock your artist success to grow your audience and sell your art online. So you can finally kick that ridiculous starving artist myth to the curb where it belongs. You can sign up for the free training today and get instant access in the link in the description of this video. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for listening. I hope you found it super helpful. We will see you in the next video. Stay magical, friends.